In this next video, we're going to talk about entering geometry data into, into the GeoHEC uh, spreadsheet. And the three sections that deal with geometry data um, or the center line alignment is the 30 foot offset, the, the center line, which is the uh, center line of the new alignment, and then the 30 foot offset from that same center line. Now, to do this, we're going to go back to uh, MicroStation and Power GeoPack. And we're going to go into our SS4 uh, DGN file that has our geometry information in it. So I'm going to go to Open. I'm going to go to Geometry. And in this file, I should have my geometry data along with my uh, terrain model of my existing um, survey data. And then I also have my bridge survey information in there as well. And so I have my center line here, and then I also have an offset uh, on the upstream side, a 30-foot offset on the upstream side, and a 30-foot offset on the downstream side. And to get these offsets, it's very simple. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get rid of these, and we'll redo them. So I'm going to go ahead and select them and delete them. And to make those offsets, all you have to do is go to Task. We're going to slide down to the tool called Single Offset Entire Element. And so, uh, again, these are 30-foot offsets, so I put in 30, and I'm going to mirror those items on both sides of the center line. So all you have to do is locate uh, the element. I'm going to left-click on it. It's going to ask what side do you want to go on, and we're going to go to the upstream side. We're going to left-click to store that, and it's going to ask, do you want to mirror that? I'm going to say yes as well. Okay? And that's all there is to creating that offset. Now, to get the uh, existing ground profile information into the spreadsheet, all you have to do is click on the element, and we're going to do the center line first, and we're going to go down to the second icon, which is Open Profile Model, and we're going to open up view number 8. I like using view 8. You can use whatever view you like, and if you have an existing ground terrain that's active, and we do, it's our survey data for the project, and it's active, you will get an existing ground profile. And so all you have to do with that existing ground profile is click on it, and run a report. Now the report that opens up is this one here, but the one that we're going to use is the one right above it. This one gets it in a format uh, where it puts the northing, easting, and elevation in columns. And so again, we're going to do it like we did with the uh, survey data. We're going to right click on this report and we're going to export this out to Microsoft Excel. Now what we need to do is we need to enter this data into the spreadsheet with a northing, easting, elevation uh, format. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this elevation information over. And to do that, you just click the column and then get to about this location, and you can drag that information over. It might give you something about the clipboard not being empty. You just hit OK, and you can see that it's been moved over. So now all you need to do uh, is select the data and then copy it over to the spreadsheet. Now, before we do that, this report uh, creates the same location twice. It'll report it or twice in multiple locations. You can see that it has the same data here as here, the same data between here and here, and that's just the way the report is written. Uh, and that's okay because uh, the GeoHex spreadsheet will look through this data and remove any duplicates that, it's, that it sees. It also will remove spaces. Okay, and so we've got some spaces here between the data, and that's, that's not a big deal. So, so all I'm going to do is select my data. I'm going to go all the way down and select every, every um, VPI of data. I'm going to right-click and copy, and then I'm going to go to my GeoHex spreadsheet, and I'm going to paste that in, and we are in the center line section. Now, this data does not have point names, and again, point names for every section in the spreadsheet are optional. Uh, so I'm not too worried about point names, not having point names. So I'm just going to come in here, and I'm gonna, again, I'm going to get in the row one in the northern section here, and I'm just going to paste that information in. Okay. Again, uh, I'm going to go ahead and visualize this, and when I visualize it, it will remove all duplicates and remove all spaces. And then there you go. You can see the picture of the, of the profile of that center line section. So I'm going to remove back to return back to the main page and you can see the data has been cleaned up uh, when you visualized it. Now I'm going to go, again I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the upstream 30-foot offset section it's the same procedure 
So I'm going to go back to my DGN file. I'm going to close this report down. I'm going to leave the view 8 open. I'm going to go click on that element. That's my 30 foot up, upstream. I'm going to open the profile model and I'm going to click in this view. Once, it, once I have this view active, I'm going to go ahead and select it, that profile for the 30 foot upstream, and I'm going to do a report again. Again, the report that gets opened up by default is this one here, but I want the one that's right above it called Vertical Alignment Points XY. Again, it puts it in a format where I have northing, easting, and elevation. I'm going to export that again out to Microsoft Excel. Again, I'm going to grab that elevation column and I'm going to move it over so that's in the right order for me to bring this data in. We got northing, easting, and elevation. Again, I'm going to select all the data. And I'm going to copy that and bring it over to the GeoHex spreadsheet. Again, this is the 30 foot off, uh, 30 foot offset upstream. Again, I'm going to get in the northern section here, or northern column. I'm going to make sure I'm in row one of this section. I'm going to right click and paste. Again, I'm going to go ahead and visualize the upstream profile. And then I'm going to return to the main page. And you can see when I return that the data has been cleaned up. So go ahead and uh, the next, uh, the, the last section that deals with geometry from the center line is the downstream 30 foot offset. Again, it's the same procedure as what we just did twice. The next section, we're, uh, next video is going to cover on how to fill out the station values and the reach ID and stream ID.